Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Brian Glein. Welcome to Astronomy 112 here at Glendale Community College. Uh, I'm just recording this short video to give you a quick overview of the syllabus and show you a few of the things that you're going to do uh, in Canvas uh, for this class um, and, and point out a couple of things that weren't easy to just explain uh, in a written syllabus, and I figured it would be easier if I just show you here visually um, to make life easier. Um, also, I wanted to record this so that you'd have a face to attach to the voice uh, and the name. Um, most of my video lectures don't have, you know, my, fo my face narrating. Uh, it's just my voice, and so I figured I would uh, say hello in person, such as it is. Um, and uh, and give you a face to attach to it. And that way, if you ever come into office hours, uh, you know who you're talking to. Um, so hello, uh, let me let me show you first off. All right, this is an online class. It is not live online. It is asynchronous. So pretty much everything you're going to be doing, almost everything you're going to be doing, is going to be out of here on Canvas. So to get started. You'll go to start here, and the first thing you'll do is read my welcome message. It'll give you some instructions to help you get started. Here is a link to the syllabus for you to read. I need you to take the last page of the syllabus, sign it, and then send me a scan of that right there, please. Uh, the textbook for this class is uh, a book of micro tasks is what we're calling them, little activities and worksheets that will help you get some practice on what we're talking about here in this class. Um, I'm just giving you a PDF copy. If you want a physical paper copy of the book, I can have those printed up at no cost. So it's free to you. Um, if you would prefer just to do it on your computer, that's fine. Uh, I personally, it's help, it helps me to have a physical book to write in and take notes in. Um, if you're like me, then you may want to have a copy. Uh, I have this survey for everybody please to answer and say, would you like me to print up a copy for you rather than you having to do it yourself? Um, so please do that here in the next day or two so that I can get those copies sent to the printer and, and have them for you on the GCC main campus to pick up for you to use for the rest of the term. Um, the first video of uh, Substance getting the semester started is this one here. So this will be the second video for you to watch after this one. Um, and that'll help you get the semester started. Um, the class, as you'll see when you read the syllabus, the class has four major components. Um, the first is homework. The homework will be uh, these lessons, these tools out of the microtask book. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, there we go. Right. The the book here's the here's the front page um, has these tools. Um, and the tools are a couple of pages of instructions and some example problems. And then the third page is some practice problems for you to get a little bit more practice with. All right. You're going to, for each of these assignments, you're going to, for each of these assignments like this, you're going to, you know, read the first two pages, answer any questions in the first two pages. And then once you're familiar and comfortable and understand what's going on, then go ahead and do those, that page of practice problems. Then I'm going to have you turn them in. So take those pages, scan them as a PDF document, and then submit that file to me so that I can get those points into the gradebook. If you do all of the, all three pages and please do scan and turn in all three pages um, so that I make sure so that I know that you did the whole thing. If you do all of it, you get all 10 points. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be grading every single question and every single answer um, because I want you to think critically about, are you understanding what's going on? Um, are you confident in your answers? And if so, then I have no problem giving you all 10 points. If you're not sure, 
if you have, if you're a little confused, if you're not sure you're quite getting it, and if you're not sure that you're getting all the right answers, that's fine. Come into office hours. Ask me for some help. Ask questions of me so that I can help you out. These kinds of things are a lot easier to do talking in real time rather than over email. If you need to send me an email, that's fine too. Send me an email. The easiest way for you to email me is through Canvas. So just send me a message here through Canvas. Um, and I check it regularly so that I can hopefully get back to you quickly. Um, but doing it, coming into the virtual office hour and talking with me is another great way to get your questions answered really quickly so that you can finish up the, the micro task and then turn it in. All right. Um, I'm putting the onus on you to ask for help because I don't know exactly what everybody needs as, in terms of help. And I leave it up to you to, um, to ask the questions that you need some help on. Um, and if, and if it's making perfect sense and it, and you don't need any help, that's entirely possible, then go ahead and turn it in and I'll give you all the points. All right. Uh, don't need to turn that in. Um, okay. Uh, so that's, so the, the homework out of the book is one of the homeworks. The other homework will be these online lessons and online assessments, uh, in our online homework system, which is called Argos. So these Argos links are, you click on that, that'll pop up a new tab and the tab will take you to the, when you open up the online homework, it'll always take you to a page like this. Um, and then you will, I'm putting the title here, okay, Intro 3 Science. So that's the lesson that I'm assigning to you at that, at that time. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Again, if you get it all done, fantastic. You'll see the, the, the grade show up, it shows up in the Canvas grade book quickly. If you get stuck, that's fine. There are parts of these online lessons that will not let you proceed unless you're getting all the questions right. So if you're getting stuck and if you're not getting the right answer, you know, don't get frustrated. I mean, it's hard to say that, you know, but if you're getting frustrated, if you're getting stuck, if you're not sure what to do, come into office hour, ask, ask a question, ask me for help. Um, and I can help you get unstuck. I'll have office hours for an hour, uh, Monday through Thursday. It, the time and the link to that uh, website are on the syllabus. If those times to meet don't work for you, get it, send me an email. We'll set up a time to meet up and I can help you out there. Okay. So the, the micro tasks, micro tasks out of the book and the Argos online lessons are the homework assignments. That's how we're going to do the, the, the um, homework. All right. I have the modules page set up so that you'll always know what to do next. Every assignment and everything that you need to do will be laid out in order. Uh, so just go down the list and get everything done and you'll, you'll do get, get all the assignments done that you need to do. All right. Um, the video lectures are like this. So you'll watch this video to help you out with this topic. I have a copy of my lecture slides right here. If you want my, lecture slides, my PowerPoint slides to help you take notes, to help you follow along with the lectures. There it is for you. Um, here are the assignments out of the book, the online homework. Okay. Um, so watch the video, do the homework assignments. Another 25% of the class is the lab assignments and the lab assignments are not going to be in canvas. The lab assignments are going to be in this video game called the university of Mars. Um, you, when you get started, you'll click start. The instructions are in a separate document. You can read those. Once you get started, then you can click, okay, continue game. And the game will look like this. It's this fun little, um, video game where you make a little avatar and you get to run around on the surface of Mars. Uh, oops. Oh, okay. Um, and, uh, eventually you get a spacesuit. Uh, <laughs> The game just caught up with me, apparently. Um, in this game, you're running around on Mars and you will take lessons that will help us facilitate what we're talking about uh, at that point in the class. 
Um, after the lesson, it'll have a little video game for you to play sometimes, or a little simulation inside the computer. And then after you've played the video game that, that goes along with that topic, then there'll be a little quiz. All right. And the quiz is what you're getting points on. So the quiz, the quiz will let you retake it or the, the program will let you retake the quizzes. And, and what, what I get is I will, when I get your scores, I get what your first score on the quiz is and what your best score on the quiz is. And so I think, why not? I'll give you points for both. So I would suggest make sure you're understanding what's going on. Make sure you're understanding the topic. If you're good, if you're good to go, then go ahead and take the quiz. If you miss some questions on the quiz and you want to do it again for a better score, it'll let you do that. And if you get a better score the second time or the third time or however long it takes, then that'll give you some extra points. So I will, on the grade book, I will put in points for your first score on the quiz and then also your best score on the quiz. If you only take the quiz one time, then your first score and your best score are going to be the same thing. Um, that's how We'll, that those are the lab assignments that we'll be doing will be in this video game. In my welcome message here, I have instructions for how to get the video game and how to pay for it and all that. Uh, it does cost some money, I apologize, but it's the only text for you to buy for this class. Uh, I need you to get signed up for this. Uh, by Wednesday, because the first assignment is going to be on Thursday. Okay. Um, we're not going to be doing, let me show you here. Um, in this class, we're not going to be doing the lessons in order because this program, this video game was designed for um, a different kind of class. And we're going to be using it in, in order, we're going to be doing the lessons in the order that makes more sense for us, um, rather than the class that they teach at Penn State, which is where this game was developed. Um, so the first lesson you're going to do is Constellations. If you were playing the game normally, you have to do the Gravity lesson and then it'll unlock the Seasons lesson and then that'll unlock the Moon Phases and so on and so on. I need you to get signed up for the game and start the game, go through the little introduction. Once you're, once you're signed in to our class for the game, then I can go to the, the, the people that run the game at Penn State and I can tell you to jump you to the end of the game. That's why it says, well, at the bottom of your screen, it'll say you have completed the game. Well, you haven't, but as far as it thinks you have, you have. So I'm going to have everybody jumped to the end of the game. And then once you're jumped to the end of the game, then you can go and say, repeat a lesson. You won't be repeating it. You'll be doing it for the first time, but you can go repeat a lesson. Okay. And then, uh, constellations. All right. Um, then you can do, you can jump around to each lesson in the order in which I assign them rather than the order that the game is in. All right. We won't be doing every single lesson here because there are questions about uh, the planets and asteroids and comets and, you know, topics that are awesome, but they're not the emphasis for this class. So we're going to be jumping around and, and doing these uh, in the order that makes sense for Astronomy 112. And um, and that is those will be the lab assignments for this class. All right. After you've done everything. Every couple of days after you've done, after you've watched my video lectures and you've done the homework and you've done the labs, then there will be a quiz, all right? The quiz will be multiple choice. It'll be about a dozen questions. It'll be a lot like the questions that you've seen in the book and in the Argos homework and in the lab. And um, so you want to make sure that you've caught up and have done everything before you do the quiz. At the end of the semester, there will be, at the end of the semester, you will have taken seven quizzes. I'm going to drop the lowest two quiz scores. So I'm going to take your top five quiz scores, and that's what will go into your final grade. So 75% um, of this class is homework, the lab, 
and the quizzes, the other 25% will be your final project. So at the end of the semester, there will be a final project where you take everything you've learned all semester and do it all in one big uh, final simulation, one big final activity that will use everything you've been learning all semester. That's the whole class. There's no midterm exam. There's no final exam. The final is going to be a, a, a more hands-on project where you get to do the things you've learned all semester rather than just taking an exam. And I think it's a lot more fun and more interesting that way. That's the whole class. So um, your, main, your main place to do things uh, for this class will be the modules page where all the assignments will be laid out in order. Just get them all done in order. Um, stick to the due dates and this class should be pretty darn straightforward. Uh, I will say the class is is um, something you can do at your own pace. I have module one posted right now. I'm going to get the rest of the modules for the for the whole class up here in the next couple of days for you. If you get through all this material fast and you want to get ahead of schedule, that's a okay. You're you're fine to do that. If you fall behind. That's okay. Don't stress it out. But you know, this class is, uh, it's, it's going to work pretty darn fast, right? We're taking the entire class and doing it in a month or in five weeks. So this class is going to run at a pretty fast clip. Uh, if you fall behind, that's okay. Don't panic, but come in and ask for help because if you fall behind, you want to make sure that you get caught up quickly, um, rather than, staying behind and then you're stressing out for the entire class. I don't want to, that to happen to you because that makes the whole thing a lot less pleasant. Um, if you find yourself falling behind, if you find yourself stuck and you need some help, I'm here for you. Come and ask for help and I'll help get you caught up. All right. Um, besides that, a lot of the other details are in my welcome message that's linked there on, uh, on the Canvas module. And a lot of the details are there in the syllabus. Go ahead and read those. Follow module one, and we're off to a good start. All right. Um, good luck. I, if you need help, come and get in contact with me, either through email or through office hours. And um, other than that, you'll hear my voice shortly in the next video. Good luck, and I'm glad you're here.